third time we have been here in High Park. And so much on the line today. There's Barbara Ramirez, number one ranked in the world, hoping to hold that position. Paula Finley just a few points behind her. Finley coming in with a bit of an injury. She has not raced since Kitzbühel missed her race in Edmonton. Look at the panic as the women come around the group. It is one long 1,500 meter swim. Not hard to believe that'll be a US athlete out in the lead. Sarah Haskins just behind her, Sarah Groff. Laura Bennett, about sixth place. Harry Lang in there as well, so coming out of the water. And Emma Snowsill was just back in sixth, so what a great swim by Snowsill. It's Haskins now getting out onto the bike. Seven laps, just over 42 kilometers, a bit long on the 40K, but they want to go by Buckingham Palace. And there it is, that historic site. The Queen not in to watch the race, but she will be next year as they go by the one of the many historic sites here in London. About 34 women in this league group, some big names in the chase pack, including Barbara Ramirez, who is well back. Helly Fredrickson leading the league group right now as they are coming through. It is seven laps, 42 kilometers. Lots on the line today. Many countries making their selections, some top three, some top nine. By the end of the 42 kilometer ride, the chase pack had caught back up. That was Barbara Ramirez's good luck. That was Emma Jackson's good luck in there as well. Ashley Gentle, the leaders have certainly caused themselves a bit of problems. And there is Jenkins, who is sick coming into this race, not even quite sure that she was 100% going to start, but she is having an unbelievable race. Jody Stimson right there sitting back in uh, second place. And that is now Emma Jackson, who has run herself into second. Incredible. Jackson was second at the race in Hamburg just a few weeks ago. She has certainly benefited. And here comes Dwen Jorgensen as long with Sarah Groff. Right now, both those women have a chance to make the Olympic team, but Jenkins in front of the home crowd will claim her biggest victory ever, maybe even bigger than the World Championship in Vancouver. Jenkins claims victory and the Olympic spot. Here comes Gwen Jorgensen. She'll be going to the Olympic Games. Incredible, and look at the run. For the fourth time, she'll go to the Olympics. Anya Dipper going to the Olympic Games. There comes Jackson and Emma Snellsill in fourth and fifth. Andrea Hewitt in sixth. But the day belongs to an incredible performance by Jenkins, who was sick but still got the job done as she qualifies for the Olympics. Gwen Jorgensen, just two years ago, didn't know what triathlon was. Now she's going to the Olympic Games. And the woman who has now been to three and now her fourth Olympic Games, Anya Dittmar, celebrates as she will go back to her fourth Olympic Games. And normally when you win, you're like, oh, yeah, it's easy, but that hurt. It was, um, I didn't feel great on the swim, and the bike was pretty easy, and I, my legs didn't feel great. Um, I was just trying to follow my teammate, Kerry Lang. I was just trying to sit with her. She's riding really well. So I was like, follow Kerry. I'll be, be safe. And, um, yeah, then, then I hit the run. I was like, oh, you know, just see what I can do. I'm not sure how I'll do. And I hit, was at the front, so I kept running, kept running. And then someone was saying, you've got a gap. So I was like, oh, I better keep pushing on. And the last bit, someone said 20 seconds. I'm like, if I blow up, I'm still going to lose. So I had, to, I had to keep pushing right to the end.